hello and thanks for joining you're welcome back to the channel if you have been doing any form of ip address subnetting then you would appreciate that it is a quite challenging task in this video we're going to see how we can try using generative ai tools such as chat gpt specifically that's the one we're going to use to try and subnet some given addresses so looking at uh, the screen you you can see some examples a typical example is uh, you've got an ip address where it's uh, for instance 192.168.00 slash 18 typically if you would want to sub, uh, subnet this you would think of how many uh, bits are on how many uh, bits will be left for the host, uh, things like that, you would have to start uh, doing the octet counting subnet ID. You have to think of what the usable hosts are, broadcast addresses are, and uh, that's quite challenging. To even make things worse sometimes, you would have to deal with a variable length subnet mask. So this is essentially having hosts that have different requirements. So this one example you're seeing, for instance, we've got 172.30.4.0 slash 22. This is the address you're given, and then you have different uh, subnets, the hosts that have different requirements. So the idea be behind uh, VLSM is just so you don't waste IP addresses by assigning a huge block of uh, subnets to a uh, number of uh, to to a network that does not require that much so for instance you've got this LAN 4 that needs 100 hosts and you've got LAN 3 that requires 250 hosts so you see this LAN 2 for instance requires only 10 hosts it doesn't make sense it is not efficient to allocate the same number of uh, IP addresses to we will just quickly try this out with ChatGPT and see what happens. Yep, so I've got my session here, just chat.openai.com. Uh, looking at this topology we have, let's provide a prompt, right? That will try and do just this. So let's say uh, use vlsm to subnet 172.30.4.0 slash 22 for the following network uh, requirements so for the following network requirements you can do something like uh, 60 hosts, 10 hosts, 250 hosts, and 100 hosts. Uh, to add to this, we can say, give, give me the usable, usable, uh, but give me the usable IP address range for each of these, including, well, it's going to uh, correct this for me either way, but including the broadcast address. So hit enter and just sit and watch you have uh, the first one so vlsm if you if you are familiar with uh, subnetting vlsm you actually start with the requirements that has the network that has the highest number of hosts just so you can meet that the, that requirement before coming down to the ones with smaller number of hosts and that's what uh, chat gpt is doing as well here so 250 hosts that's the first one the large one so see this, the subnet size is this 
then it can accommodate up to 250 hosts right so and uh, that's this is the subnet mask then usable ip range is from 4.0 to 4.2 uh, 255 we have uh the, the 100 hosts 60 as well you have all so in summary that usable ip range because i saw 255 here so it included the broadcast address but now in summary you can see it's going to start from 4.1 that's going to be the first value uh, first valid ip address to 4.254 then this is the broadcast address yes this is the broadcast address same goes for the other uh, subnets subnet one two three and that's it in seconds you have ideally well those that are actually familiar with this would really appreciate myself inclusive you will really appreciate the time uh you, you you get to save you know in trying to subnet variable length subnet mask and each time you you're you're able to generate something from this it's a good idea to to verify you, you need to check so in other words you have to be able to do subnetting or you have to understand how subnetting works before you can accept any response from uh, chat gpt or any generative ai tool that's it and thanks for joining once again thanks to my returning subscribers if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing for similar content bye bye see you in the next one